Hi guys. So, um, we're going to be doing a full moon reading. It's a full moon this evening. So we're going to see what the cards have to say for us on this full, full, full moon. Uh, and it's funny that I say full because in the cards, the full is the beginning. So, um, it's kind of funny. So we're going to use the Mooncology uh, Oracle deck to get started. And um, I got to tell you, I already did this reading. And um, when I did it, um, something went wrong with the video. I swear that Mercury was still in retrograde. But um, when I did it, I got out of, so I only drew four, whoa, I only drew four cards. And I want to tell you, of the four cards, three of them were full moon cards. So we'll see. Um, so one flew. So before I go down and get it, I'm just going to get two more cards. And one flipped over here. So let me get this one out. But, yeah, this is like so crazy. Because um, I can see the card that flipped out. So this, <laughs> I just adore this deck. I love the moon. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm always rushing out and... Um, going to, oh, going to look at the moon. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. So, sorry, I'm just getting the other card. So look at this. So there's not, there's not very many full moon cards in here, actually. Um, this is, um, so, well, I guess there are, but this, so again, so now, um, I just got done saying to you that I got three uh, in the last one because I drew three and then one last one, which I'm going to be doing again. I got three full moon cards here. Um, this this one came out twice. This one came out in the first reading. Surrender to the Divine. So I gave you guys all a very good speech on surrendering to whatever um, your divine is. So we'll get into that. Let's see what the messages for you this time around though. So I'm not going to talk about the last message that's been cleared out, but surrender to the divine. Divine doesn't mean God. Okay. It's not like, um, I spent many years trying to figure out what divine meant to me. Um, I was raised very strict Christian and it just, it, it irked me. Like I felt like I was actually having like stabs in the stomach because, um, you know, I actually sat and I tried to read everything and it just it came off to me as very misogynistic. It just didn't agree with me. And that's fine if you are, right? Like you, you, you do you, okay? I'm just talking about my experience. I'm not poo-pooing it. But what it did do is it led me to go and I thought I'd created my own religion. Then I moved to a big city for college. And then um, I ran into people and I ran into paganism. Buddhism, uh, Hinduism, um, like, uh, so many, um, Muslim, right? Like so many other religions, Sufi, um, that I just started opening up and realizing that it wasn't that I had a problem with God. I had a problem with religion. I love spirituality. Right. Um, and even if you don't believe in anything, right, that's fine. You can still believe in energy. Okay. There is positive energy, right? Mythbusters, they talk to plants with good and bad, right? And they've proven that plants have feelings and it's with how you talk. They've taken jars of water and looked at the crystals after you spoke nicely to them and after you, um, you, you speak and swore at it and put it down and the crystals actually form differently. The, the one water was muddy. So anyways, look into that. There's actual physical proof. If you're the, one of those people that needs proof, go look it up. It's there. So even if you don't believe in something else, believe in love, believe in the power of positive thinking, believe in that. Okay. So when I say the divine, it for you, it might just be your heart center. It might just be love. It might be positiveness, right? So let's just end that there. Okay. So anyways, so we have surrender to the divine. Then we have full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. So, 
So maybe you're too spiritual and maybe you need to get a little bit more practical or maybe you're practical and you need to balance with a little bit more spiritual. So your heart and your head need to start balancing out because one's doing too much, okay? Which is eat winning, your ego or your heart, okay? And be very careful with what you think ego is, okay? Um, that's a big one, right? And we do need a little bit of ego to survive, but which it's about balance. And then we have full moon in Gemini. Um, and that's the answers you need are coming. So Gemini is about communication, right? So um, here's the card for the full moon in Pisces. I want to show you guys this. It's actually quite beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get where... Um, you can't see my ring light. There you go. And then here's the full moon in Gemini. So it's the twins, right? I know all about Gemini. I'm, I'm one. So, okay. So that's those. Let's see where the cards take us. So I'm going to be using my tarot. Uh, this is my Smith Weight tarot deck. Everything's been pre-shuffled, so don't... Um, don't think, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really that affluent to um, be able to ever, I don't think enough. Well, I think, but I don't think enough. Whoa. Okay. So we had three pull up uh, right away. So um, they're, they're pretty good ones. Um, so, uh, I'm not good enough to read cards or do anything like that. That's just beyond me. That's like too much. I like to be uh, too flighty. Okay, so we have some, um, so first of all, I want you guys to know, bad cards in tarot aren't bad cards in tarot, okay? It's just, so they serve as warnings and guides, okay? So there isn't anything that's like crazy, awful, horrible, okay? So we have the Six of Wands, okay? So the Six of Wands um, talks about uh, victory, success, um, um, triumph, you know, recognition, all that stuff, right? It's all the good things. So you'll see in the picture, he's riding a horse and he has a staff and it has like a celebratory wreath on it. He has like the thing around his head. So let me show you that. There we go. And so there's that. Now we have, um, we do have the sun in reverse, okay? And when we get to uh, the sun, so the sun right side up is actually pretty fantastic. Um, it's actually one of the happiest cards in the deck. Um, it's a warning, um, lack of success. So I'm not too sure what, let's put them all together first. So why the sun is upside down, because next, you have the devil. Now, don't, don't, just don't, okay? So if you're new to tarot, just don't freak out, okay? So the devil is attached to um, Capricorn. The sun is actually attached to Leo. So you could also be going south with somebody who's Leo. Um, but this, the devil is, um, it's um, bondage, addiction, sexuality, materialism. So um, you can see in the card that, um, well, obviously he looks like the devil, but there's two, there's a man and a woman and they're chained together. Um, so, and it's not necessarily, um, a positive card, right? But it's showing, um, like, and I think really this has to do with, um, with what you need to do to achieve this. Okay. So I think something's happened. You feel bound. Like, honestly, that's the feeling like I get with this. So you feel stuck. You feel bound. Um, you're feeling like you're not making progress or maybe you just don't know where to go. Um, and with that, you might be feeling a little bit depressed, right? A little bit sad. Um, but it's temporary. Okay. This is just temporary. You have to remember these are temporary. When I did the reading, I had the intention that it's just for the next few days. So don't like, it's just for, what is it? Three to five days. So you're feeling bound, right? You're feeling maybe a little down. Okay. Full moons also have a crazy effect on us. 
we have three full moons up here, okay? But if you look at the surrender to the divine, so it's saying, chill out, relax, okay? Balance the spiritual and the practicality. So I'm thinking here that um, you might be too focused on the material and that you're not focusing on your heart and you need to, uh, to release this bond, okay? I'll show you the picture. Woo! is um and then i'll show you the sun in reverse so the sun upright like there's sunflowers obviously and there's like it's just complete freedom and happiness but it's upside down so right now your happiness is a little upside down that's okay you're feeling a little bound um you probably don't know what to do with it because the answers you need are coming okay they're coming when you learn how to balance your spiritual and your practical. So are you in your head too much? Get in your heart. Okay. And be careful because what we think is our heart isn't. Okay. Our heart is connecting to love. Okay. It's not an addiction. It is not bondage. Love is freedom. Right. So right now you're not having that. Okay? And how you need to, to surrender to your divine. You need to meditate. You need to journal. You need to do a um, emotional intelligence course. You need to go and find the things that make you love you. Because when you do that, you will have your success. You will have your parade. You will have everybody there cheering for you. You will celebrate, okay, on your white horse, okay? So uh, that's your full moon reading. So I think maybe for the full moon, maybe you should just, like, connect with people that really warm your heart. Um, no conflict, right? They just, um, they just love, right? You, you know who they are. They just, there's no drama, okay? Just, like, fuck. There's so much drama lately, and it's just get rid of the drama. Like, it's so purposeless, right? Like, there's zero help to drama. It's a waste of energy when you could be putting it into your six of wands, right? So get rid of the devil and turn your son upright, right? So find your happiness and turn him upside down. So that's what we need to do. You need to get rid of your demons, okay? So let's do one more moon card. I swear if it comes out as a full moon, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Like this is crazy. So let's see. So have a bath, right? Maybe listen to music that you love. Whoa, okay. So I have, um, so we'll take the two that flipped up, right? Okay, so let's see what they are. Oh, okay, well, at least, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll go with this one first because the other one I'm just gonna laugh at and I might swear a little. So um, nothing is yet set in stone. So you might be feeling that something is, perhaps you feel very stuck. You might feel it is stalemate. Nothing set in stone, okay? everything can change when you believe and when you move from your heart, right? If you want this, you can have this. You may need to sit and reconnect and figure something out, or maybe you just need to wait for the timing to be correct. Maybe you need to move towards it a different way, okay? Nothing yet is set in stone. It's the mutable moon. So we didn't get another full moon, okay? There we go. But... <laughs> Look at the other one that flipped out with it. I swear, this is so funny. Full moon eclipse. So not only did we get the full moon, we got the full moon eclipse. Okay, I hope you guys can see that it's a beautiful card. I'm trying to, like, I wish that I knew how to not get a shine on that there. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. <sighs> Doesn't that make you feel good? Conclusions are within reach, right? 
Surrender to the divine. Conclusions are within reach, right? Take your devil, turn him upside down. Take your tur son, turn it right side up, right? Balance your spirituality and your practicality, okay? Like, it's, it's all here, guys. It's just a little tiny mess of cards, and that's it, okay? Four freaking full moons. Seriously, okay? So... And the cool thing is, is I know it's not a full moon in Pisces specifically. I actually don't know which one it is, um, but it is. We're in the sign of Pisces right now. So um, maybe it is full moon in Pisces then. But this is actually full moon in Pisces is balanced spirituality and practicality. Okay, guys, there's your messages. Please subscribe and like and share. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful full moon.